just when you thought you were safe. Here I am again, back on the internet with another vibrational dowsing basics to wellness video. So the last video you looked at, we did a whole bunch of things around sympathetic resonance and vibrational dowsing. And just to rehash or go over that again, that process or that technique of vibrational dowsing is interconnected to natural processes, to natural phenomenon, as you became aware if you watched the last video and looked at the two tuning forks and such and understood the other things about sympathetic resonance with the glass breaking. Um, so what we're using this natural phenomenon to do the testing, which puts us in resonance with nature itself. And we become in tune with nature and natural processes and the way things uh, grow and develop and um, manifest in the natural world. And so this um, geometry that we're creating with the length of the string, this uh, spherical geometry, which is I'm calling the primitive because it's based on just a length, right? That's rotated and creates a sphere. It becomes the basis of our neutral pendulum. I hope you all have been trying this and experimenting with this. This technique or methodology for going into resonance and using sympathetic resonance to determine basic resonance between objects is the underlying principle of creating a tool set that uh, can become in tuned or tuned to specific energy uh, patterns. And the reasons why this is important is because we're trying to get to a spot where we have enough understanding or yeah, enough understanding to make sense out of the dimensional designs tools that are sold and distributed on my website. And so how can we get to a spot where people have asked me, how do you know this is working or how can we test for it to be working other than empirically where you put a patch on your phone and you realize now you can hold the phone to your head um, and it's no longer heating up your head because that's what was happening with mine. If I didn't have this patch that I have on here, um, I could readily show you this patch here. Um, it would get hot. My head would get hot. The phone still does get quite warm, but the impact into my head has gotten significantly reduced to the point where I could hold the phone to my head. And energetically, we can show and test uh, using tools that are been defined and refined with sympathetic resonance in, as an assessment technique to um, show that these tools are working on a particular plane. And we, I made reference to biogeometry, and I have to really clarify this. This is in no way, shape, or form a video on biogeometry. The tools have been constructed based on this assessment technique and methodology of biogeometry. I will leave in the link below. Look down there for sites where you can study biogeometry. Uh, I'm a student of biogeometry. I've studied with Dr. Gilbert down in Asheville, North Carolina, which I can highly recommend. It was an extraordinary course and one that was really not so much a focus on how to become a practitioner so I can go out in the world and work with people, but to work on myself first and foremost to help me center my own self and my own being and my own purpose in my own manifestation. And then from that, be active in the world. And so in this here, this video is an, an extension of that work that I've been doing, though that and others, other work that's allowed me to manifest and project out into the world to be of service. And that's really the concept here is how can I be of service? So the person who's walking in my door and, and assisting them and them taking on their well-being and um, becoming their own doctor. And biogeometry is a big piece of this because it's part of the assessment technique that I use here in this office. It's uh, the tools that I use are based on that, and I wanted to show you some of those tools today to kind of give you a flavor. And one of the biggest tools to, to go over here is this, it's called BG3 Pendulum. 